Hello there everybody, Oimon here, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch, as you can see by what it says on screen. Pretty cool. Um, I, I actually had to restart the game because it literally just throws you in. There's no opening menu, there's no nothing. It's just, yep, you're here, you're on a boat. Unless this is the opening menu and I was being a complete idiot, but this feels like, nope, this is probably the game. I always like it when things do like the floating words that like seem like they're really there. Uh, we can't move, we're just sort of sat on a boat at the moment. Uh, but I wanted to play something a bit more relaxing. Uh, I've been playing a lot of high-stress games on my channel lately, you may have noticed. And uh, I wanted to play something a bit more relaxing. From what I understand, this is more or less just a sort of walking simulator kind of game. And, ooh, oh, hello. Edith Finch. That's me, apparently. A lot of oh. this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm used I'm to it, trust me. Beginning with the house. The house. Wait, oh, okay, and we're straight into it. Like I said, no menu. There is a menu, actually, because obviously I had to... Because it threw me into it so fast. I was like, okay, are we going to a menu here? Apparently, no, we're not going to a menu here. Uh, there is a menu. It's here. And it's got the Finch family tree, which is... Interesting. I was sort of spending a few minutes looking at that. Uh, so that's that's quite nice. I like that. But yeah, this is a sort of this is described as a quote walking simulator. Uh, I don't know if there's. Fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Probably not. Yeah. So it's a walking simulator, immersive story My kind of Milton thing. Disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Ooh, missing children. Why do video games always obsess about missing children? Whoa. 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 That was me trying to press shift to run. Apparently, you can't run. You can zoom, but you can't run. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's probably for the best, considering how tall that place is looking. Ooh, flowers. My Skyrim instinct kicked in for a minute there, and I was just like, oh, I need to collect it. Any post? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Well, fair enough. Whoop. Yeah, nice interactivity. I like me likeies. Yeah, it's kind of almost Penumbra-esque in its... My brother Lewis's funeral. So, yeah, according to this, so... Milton went missing, and Lewis is apparently dead. And Edith, who... Presumably, I am playing. Um, is obviously still alive. No trespassing. Any video surveillance? Hmm. So I don't really know much about this game. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. <laughs> That's nice of her. Maybe she um, didn't know. <laughs> Stop or talking. She thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. So we can go down here, or we can keep following the road over here. There's no run button, unfortunately, unless it's R. Nope. Oh, Q also zooms in, apparently. But nope, shift does not run. Oh, control also zooms in. Every button zooms in. I've driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoofprints. Hoofprints? What, is somebody coming up here on the back of a horse? Oh, no. Hello. Hello, dear. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> so yeah, this game's a bit trippy from what I've seen in the, the pictures. Is, like, there's a lot of weirdness to it. I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Ooh, mysterious. So I don't know if there's the much exactly in the way of... Like whoa. It, the way I've been it's dreaming about house. it. Ah, it's a big house. That's a nice looking house. Or at least it would be if it wasn't for the weird ass extension. Um, the, the main house looks rather nice. Apparently there's a car in here. With Washington license plates. That means jack shit to me living in the UK. Pond. There's no jump button. It's literally just walking. Let's check out the pond. I wonder if I should have gone down into the uh, the forest. There might have been alternate uh, text or something. 
I mean, I could go exploring, but I don't think I'm going to. I feel compelled to move towards the house. So yeah, like I said, I wanted something a bit lighter, a bit easier to manage. I Oops, asked Edie snake. once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. Ugh. So it used to be a slide? Kind I of was thing? six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Uh, it's probably not a joke. He probably went down the slide, it collapsed, and he went with it. Which I suppose is fair enough. I'll go up the As driveway. Child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I don't blame you. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Um, I don't... Uh, mm, a bit dilapidated, but I don't see any particular reason to be afraid of it. Oh, wind chimes. Lovely. Can I open the door? Oh! We're crawling in here, <laughs> Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay. Apparently that was the way in, and I did it without really thinking about it. The power had been turned off the night we left. Right. That's fair. Turning off the power when you're leaving a place is usually a good idea. The freezer is empty. Um, okay. We have hanging bikes and a kitty paddling pool. Always nice. No nope, power's off. Car left there. Who needs two cars? First time in years. January 2010. I felt like I was home. Hang on, that says January 2010. So Edith, Milton, Lewis, Dawn, and Eddie. Cool. Ooh, nice place. Very sort of rural looking, but nice. Oh, they have a microwave. But so instead it's of a family, modern. there were just memories of one. Edith. Eddie, Dawn, and Lewis. Cool. Is that Eddie or Edie? It's probably Edie, actually. Doesn't Eddie usually have two Ds or something? In loving memory, Lewis Finch. Is that the one who died or was that the one that went missing? No, that was the one who died. Yeah, Lewis went missing. It was the other one who... who, who no, he died. The other one went missing. That was it. Okay, I may tweak the rotation... Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our <laughs> cat, Molly. There's a surprise. That's what cats are like. They love their salmon. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Ooh, Chinese. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. So you just all decided to up and just leave like that? Just poof and gone? I suppose that's fair. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Huh. Apparently I am indeed a girl. Wait, am I? Is my character pregnant? Is that supposed to... Okay, that's either a weird glitch or my character is actually pregnant. That might explain why I'm moving so slowly. Ah, putting the pieces together, you see. Nothing Ooh, in the lovely. house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Hmm. I don't Even know. I kind of like the story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Sank? Huh. I don't know. I kind of like this place. It's got a... a those words just go flying up the chimney. That's a nice touch. I like... I do like a game that has like words around, but they're kind of in an interactive part of the actual game. That's always a nice touch. So let's have a look. So that's from an old tree, obviously. That is a big friggin' flat screen to just abandon in a house. So I was trying to work it out. Hang on a sec. Let me just... 1999. So she's 17. So it's 2016 right now. And the calendar was from 2010. So they left... Assuming, because it said January 2010, so assuming they left in January 2010, which makes sense, she would have been either 10 or 11, depending on when her birthday is, when they left, and now that she's 17, she's back. So that's like the original house. Is this a rose red scenario? Like, is it, um, is it like, uh, like this place is like haunted or 
built at an ancient Indian burial ground or some BS like that. I don't know, but it looks awesome. That's a lot of books. Well, hang on. Whoa, that door is sealed. They sealed that door up. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. So what happened that's like made them leave so rapidly? Front door's locked. My we mom that. wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. He's living in the attic of the house. Barbara? Do, 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 do. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. There's someone with a lepidopterist. That's a collector of insects. And somebody who looked like an actor, Barbara Finch. Is this supposed to be like the Bigfoot monster? Probably. Somebody was in World War Two, maybe? Huh. I'm just looking at all the details. Like I said, it's a walking simulator, so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to immerse myself in the game. Ooh, apple pie. Mmm, apple pie. I do like a good apple pie. Nothing wrong with apple. Right. I can't run. Apparently I'm pregnant. I can't run. See, I like, I like, I don't know. Why the hell are you complaining about this house? It looks fantastic. And the house I'd like Mom to live in. Right, okay. To stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll go upstairs then. And the chicha. You know, it always sort of makes me wonder, how the fuck do people put so many pictures on friggin' stairwells? Like, it, it always bugs the hell out of me. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then all he of them? retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. I don't know. It looks fun. Got a lot of fish on the thing. Sort of a sign saying the fidges at the bottom of the ocean. I'm not sure that's entirely nice. And that's the house at the bottom of the ocean. Did she say the house sunk? She said that, didn't she? Weird. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Does it fit? Oh, it does. Cool. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Push or pull, or... Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Right, well, I'll go there in just a minute. I want to keep exploring first. I mean, she said she sealed up all the bedrooms. She literally sealed up all the bedrooms. I mean, look at this shit. Molly always Whoa. seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If Did I miss that one downstairs? Okay. Okay. There was a peephole in the room downstairs. I may go back and check that just real quick because it was just down here at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my character is supposed to be pregnant. I get the, that's probably why she's back. You know, it's like, oh, I need a place to live now. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. I'm probably imagining that's a metaphor, I hope. That is a big saw. Okay, well, that's fine. So literally all the bedrooms are sealed up? I thought I just said, ah, across there. I didn't realize those were B's and R's. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Fair enough. Probably for the best. Child stars tend not to fare well in the long run. Ooh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. With a cable. That goes into her room, apparently. Ooh. Edie's father, More Odin, dots. built the original house. Okay. That makes sense. So there was original house. It, like, collapsed probably due to, like, land subdivision. Sub, sub... What's the word I'm thinking of? Whatever. Sven and Eddie. Were they twins? 
The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Ooh, artist. So presumably we're gonna visit all of these rooms one at a time. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed oh. every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. That's, um, that's not really a bedroom. That's more of, you know, a bathroom. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Lovely. It's literally cut in half. So one wanted to be an astronaut, the other wanted to be a soldier. And then one of them died. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a repair job. I thought, oh, is that a secret? No, it's just a repair job. <laughs> okay, let's find out what's through the secret tunnel. Assuming I can fit with a pregnant belly. I, I see, I'm not 100% convinced on that, but it, it feels about right, doesn't it? From the paint on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Really? You know, the fact it says the word Milton across next to that. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no. no idea what was behind that door. There are no plans. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. You and me both, love. You and me both. I have not got the faintest idea where this is going Molly's to lead. Room through the peephole. That is sealed tight. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's weird. That's very weird. Oh, Being still. inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah, more of a locked door, really. Oh. Huh, that's a nice... Is that like a hat? I like that. That's a nice looking hat. So we've got a rocking horse, of course. Orca's Island Calves. Okay. I yeah. got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom I sealed the doors. Get the feeling she liked cats. Ooh, nice view. December 1947. Hmm. Book. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Ew. Oh, really? My Halloween candy was all gone. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Well, that's the start, I guess. Door was locked. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Wow, that's one heck of a punishment. Oh no. We're not going to end up eating the goldfish, are we? I thought about it. <laughs> No, I am not thinking about that. Not even slightly. This wasn't supposed to be a horrible game. God the mighty, this is dark. Ooh, bathroom. Well, you can get some water at eating least. And eating. Ew, you don't eat toothpaste. It's got no nutritional value whatsoever. I was I was thought you were gonna get like a drink or something. I ate a lot of things that night. Is that even real? I don't think you can eat those. Quick drink water at the toilet. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hello. The barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Um. And suddenly, I was a cat. What? Suddenly I'm a cat? What the hell? Okay.
Whoa. Okay, now suddenly we can jump. Come here, bird. Fly, but the bird was really scared. Apparently this house is full of people who can turn into animals. Cool. Am I actually going to catch and eat the bird? That would be pretty cruel. Whee! Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, I'm actually kind of like this. It's kind of puzzle-ish. Only not. Come here. Whee! I jumped and I almost got her. And he got angry about it too. Hey. <clears throat> now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I could tell she was getting really tired. God, I'm kind of worried that I'm going to fall off or something. I know we're a little over time, but I really want to see where this is going. I get the feeling it's going to be like a short dream sequence or something. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. What? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What the hell? Okay, now I'm an owl. All right, I'm gonna pause this here. Um, this just got really weird. I told you this was gonna be a slightly trippy game. Cause I just looking at the pictures, it seemed like there were moments where things like the, the art style kind of changes and stuff like that. So I, I wasn't expecting to turn into an animal. That's pretty weird. But this is interesting. I, I'm it's it's I'm like I'm I'm getting so relaxed playing this game, and considering some of the shit I've been going through lately, I need to relax. So I'm actually kind of glad that this is a thing. So I'm I'm very happy with this, and I'm gonna have good fun enjoying this, and I'm gonna work out how to be an owl next. We've been a cat, and now we're gonna be an owl. I can't help but get the feeling she's probably hallucinating. Like legit, she's 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 tripping balls here or something. Um, probably a combination of toothpaste and those berries from the bathroom. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, but there might be some greater mystery behind this. Like maybe there's some magical property to the house or something. I don't know. We'll find out. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to do all the good YouTube stuff. Please like the video if you did. Please um, share it around if you are so inclined. Please leave me a comment. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this game. I definitely like to hear your thoughts about this game. And um, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the bell because YouTube could be very flaky about whether it even tells you I've put, uploaded a video these days. And of course, um, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below because I also send out notifications on there too. So, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next part. Bye!